Indonesia goes to the polls in 10 days' time to elect a president and the campaign is presenting a stark choice for voters. In echoes of Donald Trump's tactics, presidential challenger Prabowo Subianto is taking aim at foreigners, trade deals and journalists. Indonesia correspondent David Lipson spoke to him for this report. For an election rerun, it's quite a show. Indonesia's President Joko Widodo seeking a second term with a man of the people pitch. We like him. We like him very much. He's calling it a party for democracy. When you say a party, it should be fun. It should not be creating fears. His opponent, once more, is ex-general Prabowo Subianto, who's trading on undercurrents of discontent. The mother country is being raped. I've had enough. This is not the republic I defended. It's not the republic I risked my life for. It's turned into a very stark choice between optimism on the part of Widodo and uh, severe and mounting pessimism on the part of Prabowo. The presidential challenger wants to take Indonesia in a very different direction. His vision is one of trade protectionism, isolation, a general anti-foreign sentiment, all backed by some of Indonesia's more radical Islamists. Addressing foreign correspondents directly, he said of the Indonesian people... They don't want to be cheated again! Seeking clarification backstage only led to more questions. We want um, the will of the Indonesian people to be respected. He dares to say what's true is true and what's wrong is wrong, like a warrior. A warrior who's now daring his supporters to take to the streets en masse if he loses. David Lipson, ABC News, Jakarta.